Hi, and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today is Monday, a universally hated day, but I have something to make it better, at least for me. Another unboxing, and this one is really special. Now, as much as I love doing reviews and tutorials, and trust me, I love doing those things, these are the videos I love the most. Not because of the way I film them. In fact, it has nothing to do with the video itself, but the quick fix I get from opening a new watch arrival, because to a watch person, there's no better drug in the world than unboxing a new piece. So without further ado, let's jump into this thing. Okay, so here's the box, and I'll use my sophisticated blade once more to open it. Now let's open the other side, and this one has been opened by my customs, as usual. So let's open the box itself. Okay. And here's the bubble wrapping in which the watch is. There's nothing else in the box, so we'll move it away. And as you can see, the watch is in the bubble wrap. Please check in the bubble wrap. Okay, I will. And let's go. Okay, this is slowly becoming a watch unrolling instead of a watch unboxing. Oh my god. Okay, here it is. Let's move this away. And here it is. It's Royal Highness, the King Seiko. And it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Wow. This looks much better than I thought, to be honest. Look at the lines, look at the case. Everything is in perfect condition the crystal everything and look at that blue this is one of the last King Seiko's because uh, the production ended in 1976 it was killed off and by the serial we can see that this one is from 1973 it's one of the two last lines and another interesting thing is as you can see this has the SUA logo meaning it was produced in SUA factory which is unusual as SUA was in charge of producing Grand Seikos while Daini was the one producing King Seikos but there are a few models like this one where the factories were swapped so you can even find Grand Seikos that were produced in Daini as well but those are just a few just like this one I won't go into any more details about this watch because I want to save them for the review which will be on in a couple of weeks so please stay tuned. However I just wanted to say that I wasn't planning on buying this watch but after watching uh, Rich's video from What's on the Wrist about King Seiko's he kind of reignited my flames about these watches and I went online to see what's offered and although I was just looking and browsing after stumbling upon this watch with its beautiful combination of gold and blue I kind of lost my mind and just had to have it. So in a way, thanks Rich for this watch. Anyways, uh, this pretty much completes the unboxing. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until the next video, bye.